It's a gloriously silver Sunday. This is vlog 477, but I'm heading down to Carson, which is near Torrance, because there is a an interesting show that's happening down there. My friend Jim, who drives a, a beautiful 63 Thunderbird, has invited me down to this show to take a look at a private collection which is open only once a year. You guys are gonna be able to see these and there's some spectacular cars in it. So we're gonna peruse through. Uh, I think Wes is gonna be there, possibly Ken, a few other people. We're gonna have a good time. This is some dude's garage. It's so big, there's a full-blown restaurant back there. Lots of people eating. Let me show you. Definitely the ultimate garage, the ultimate man cave. It's huge. There's gotta be 25 willies here in this collection. Easily 80 to 100 cars. Unbelievable. <laughs> This is Jay's garage. This one is epic. This place has everything. Thelma and Louise, Back to the Future. Smoking the Bandit, original bullet. Night Rider, free coffee, and a cookie. I got a cookie also. And Batmobile. about one of the hidden gems for car people in the entire country. This place rocks. I, I barely have words for the incredible metal that is in this place. Let me show you some of the hot rods.
about some classics like this. And of course, some serious muscle over there. known as PV Jim. Yes. Can I say that? 63 for t -Bird Jim. Yes, 63 t -Bird Jim. Uh, which uh, Jim just won at Art Center. Congratulations, by thank the way. You, thank you. That was, I'm still off the ground on that. That's that, amazing. That's amazing. So what, what are we looking at here today? This is an incredible collection of what looks like about 80 cars. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it is like four buildings filled with cars. All 100 point cars. I mean, they're just This great. guy's got a problem. He has very good it's problem. a really good problem. Oh, he can do it, so he does it and, and he enjoys it. I mean, it's the facade of a Texaco gas station. Of, There's of, a of lot of hobby shops. gone into this. Speed shops. And yeah. you have Willie's. I mean, when I go see Willie's, you know, not Willie's, Willie's, but you know, I usually see one or two of them. But this yeah. guy's got like 20 or 30 of them <laughs> that are, I mean, I've never Flawless. seen them all. Oh, yeah. And, and oh, yeah. it's just amazing. Right. Absolutely amazing. Let's go look around and uh, Ken's here too. Where is it? Ken is uh, he's hiding somewhere in the Corvette. He's coming here yet. There's Ken. This place is amazing. It's insane. <laughs> Can I live here? The garage is fully open now. There are tons of people in here enjoying these cars. Just amazing. And these goons can't stop talking. Shows up. Yeah, yeah. Just Wes. He just, he just got here. No, I've been here a while. I've just been schmoo schmoozing and doing other things. It's, I actually been hanging out with him too. So he was outside looking at yeah, the Rolls Royce. Is the Rolls Royce outside? Oh, Rolls Royce hot rod outside. Oh, dude, been, I gotta see that out there though. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Yep. Anthony Lawrence. Yeah. This is Tony. He's got an awesome magazine you guys got to check out. It's called Blacktop Magazine. That's the website? Yes. Okay. Blacktop Magazine. And, and what is it about cool cars that you love so much? Yeah, oh, ever since I was a kid, but uh, it's fuel fed culture there. So it's the cars, the bikes, the girls, all that. You know, right answer. Stuff. Yeah, the girls yeah. on the end is what is what gets the cars. <laughs> yeah. So if you could take any one of these cars home today, what would it be? There was one he's had here before I really like. It was a panel, a little Willie panel, but uh, oh man, it's hard decision. There's so many nice cars. It's here. tough. It is. But if you yeah. stay put, I'll have a cookie for you. All right, I appreciate <laughs> that. All right. This is Rick. Uh, he is the owner and uh, the builder of this incredible establishment. Thank you for having us. You're quite welcome. Glad to have you here. It's extraordinary. Um, how long has it taken you so far to put this together? This here we have about 13 years in. Although I collect, started collecting cars before that, I've had them in various warehouses and garages stored. Yeah. We got serious about 13 years ago. And is this only open once a year? Uh, no, it's open by appointment. Okay. With various charity organizations. Yeah, we're going to gonna come back lots of times. We'll let you back. Lots of times. No, this is the tough question. You ready? Uh -huh. This is tough. Do you have a favorite in here somewhere? I have my 1950 Oldsmobile Holiday Hardtop. We call it Red Red Wine. And I have two, actually. We have my first Willys that brand. Most people have like one or two Willys. you got like 20 of them. 35. I love this guy. This guy's awesome. Thank you. 
you so much for having us over. This, this is quite an extraordinary thing for everyone to walk around and appreciate these cars. It's amazing. I'm living the dream. It's a good disease. I'm living the dream. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Wood, Mr. Hot Wheels right here. You don't blame me for this. I didn't do the weather. I'm not in charge of the weather. Can I blame you for all the bad Hot Wheels? With Twitch, there are none. No, no, wait a minute. There are a couple that I'm not too proud of. But okay. every once in a while, I those, get Those were bad. Those were days where you, you, were, you were challenged. Yeah, well, I did. I think I've done every car in this place, haven't I? That's I mean, right. T-Bucket 40, right. Deuce, uh, Corvette. And what's your favorite? Which one would you have you not done oh. that you wish you could have done? There's some of those diggers over there that I kind of wish I had done. Yeah. No, just, there was, weren't that many buyers for yeah. die-cast diggers. See these hands? <laughs> worth a lot. Yeah, that's, worth a lot that's right why they, there. They, that's why they don't move anymore. That's Drawing right. all these little tiny cars. <laughs> what an amazing collection. I got uh, Wes and Ken that are behind me now, right back there. I spotted on the way down here the four-hill drive that I did for the Flintstones. We're going to go quickly take a look at it. But above and beyond that, amazing collection. Big thanks to Rick. Super nice guy. We're going to go down and visit him again. That was cool. Ken Porter Auctions, which is a auction house auctioning weird things. There's nothing weird here. Nothing weird. Uh, just people we get to hang out with. Yeah. back but I spent a little bit of time the last half hour uh, finishing up the Cadillac so this is the kind of the final image of the Cadillac now I've blacked in some of the other areas uh, a little bit more some up here some up here and that's about as far as I want to go with this what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna scan it into the computer and then I'm gonna start playing around with color variations I have a, an overall concept a finished idea that I want to uh, that I want to implement and when it's done, it might be something I can put up. It might be something I might put up on the website for you guys. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to do with it. But it's an experiment, and that's something that's always kind of fun. Okay, well, so let's get to it. All right, here is the scanned image. Now, it's very rough, so I need to spend a little bit of time blackening up the blacks and cleaning up a lot of the imperfections which exist when you blow up something like this. So, I'm going to spend a few minutes doing that. Alright, it's all cleaned up. Nice and black, solids everywhere, looks really good. The next step is to create a separate layer of the blacks, and then I'll be dropping in some color to experiment. Okay, this is a color wheel. If you're not familiar with a color wheel, this is what a color wheel looks like. Directly across from each color is what's called its complement, yellow directly across is purple. Green, directly across, is red. It's like uh, Christmas colors. Orange, directly across, is blue. So the idea is to create a complementary Cadillac, but not just one, three. And the first step, blue and orange. All right, here's a first pass in color. Looks pretty awesome. Gonna play around with the background a little bit, but this is the complement of orange and blue. Played around a little bit with the color. What you see behind me is the blue and orange version, but then there's two other versions that I've also done. I'm gonna put them all together as a vertical triptych, and I call this Complement Caddy. Let's be the 
about to see the final in all its glory but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually print this thing up large on a canvas something that I can put on the wall I want to see it big it's gonna take a little bit of while for that to get back so I'm wrapping the vlog up here thanks for watching had a great time today lots of people uh, uh, to thank too many but especially to Rick uh, who owned the shop that we went out to, to check out and of course to Jim Huistos who, who set us up very cool guy uh, have a lot of fun we're gonna be doing a lot more stuff like that so thanks for watching be sure to friend me up on Facebook Twitter Instagram and all those places hanging out doing cool stuff. Let's make this week the absolute best that we can make it. Shall we? I'm in.